Hello Aquarius, I'm Annette McKinley, this is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I'm coming at you from the frozen tundra of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. How is everyone tonight? This is a general love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Um, please like, share, subscribe the heck out of my channel. Um, and I appreciate your positive uh, comments and feedback. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading, the information uh, and link to the is in the description box down below. I'm having difficulty um, speaking here. Uh, we just had some uh, paranormal event happen in the Sagittarius video. Um, I uh, explained in the comments section there what was going on. Um, so I'm just a little bit um, unnerved yet, um, but I'm okay, I'm okay, it's all good, it's positive energy, but a um, little, little uh, like I said, it was pretty profound. Um, so this is a general love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. It may or may not resonate with everyone that sees this, so just keep an open mind whenever you're watching tarot videos. Um, you know, my readings also are like Twinkies. They don't have an expiration date, and they've got a very long shelf life. So you could watch this tomorrow or next week or a year from now, and it still might resonate to whatever you're going through at that time. Um, and just know that the story can go back and forth. It could be your situation or the situation of the person that you're dealing with. Okay, so we're going to pull a general uh, oracle message. The main thing that you need to keep in mind over the next couple of weeks, this is uh, for the beginning of February from now through February 15th, 2019. Okay, Aquarius. Earth. Utilize logic, reason, and common sense. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but this is about um, being very logical, um, grounding the relationship, making it solid, firm, having a strong foundation to build that relationship on. Okay, so let's, uh, we're going to use the Steampunk Tarot as the main deck. I will validate any major arcana messages that come through. What's going on in love for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cusp through February 15th, 2019. Please, Spirit. Messages for my aqua babies. My aquas. I want to say hello to my friend Ramblin' Mike at Ramblin' Mike's Tarot. He gave me the most amazing personal reading a couple weeks ago. Um, I'm still pretty uh, over the moon about it. We're waiting to see how things develop. But um, Ramblin' Mike, you are amazing, my friend. And I have so much uh, gratitude for your, your divine gift that you share with us. Thank you. Okay, let's see what's going on in the love boat for my Aquarius people. Yeah, I'm not going to I'm not going to quit my day job anytime soon. I just can't see a future being a lounge singer. Sorry. Anyway, because <laughs> I would be left out in the cold like these people here on the Five of Pentacles message. Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, recovering from some type of loss, whether it's financial, spiritual, um, or a, a loved one coming back in from out of the cold. Um, it is uh, 21 below zero here in Milwaukee. <laughs> 
not a good place to be when you're in this energy. Um, so I hope you guys are all staying warm. Um, but someone wants to come in from out of the cold with you, Aquarius, or you want to come in from out of the cold with them. Um, this is also feelings of lack. It's poverty consciousness. It's being disconnected from your spirituality. But five is a number of change, so I feel like uh, there's going to be some type of financial or physical recovery of something that you thought was uh, long lost or over with. Okay, then you have Queen of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Ready to give love, offer love, using your intuition, being very nurturing, loving, and maternal. This is a person with psychic ability. She, she can be a bit moody. <laughs> a bit overbearing mother hen type of energy. And then you've got the Knight of Wands here. Fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. He's doing a little dance here. He's two-stepping it. He's in, he's out. He's in, he's out. He's in, he's out. He's back and forth. Oh my God, I'm getting dizzy, you guys. This dude doesn't know what he wants. In and out of somebody's life here. The queen is like, come and get it. Come and get it. Here, boy, here, boy. He's like, uh kind of yeah uh, yeah it's kind of that type of energy kind of that kind of energy Aquarius and then we've got the eight of Pentacles earth sign energy again Taurus Virgo Capricorn putting in the work the time the effort the energy um, this is someone who is um, uh, Master manifester, they know the law of attraction. Eight is the number of infinity. This is infinite abundance. Willing to work hard knowing that your effort is going to pay off. This is the physical manifestation of all the time, effort, and energy you've put into something, whether it's into yourself or into this connection. On the bottom of the deck, you've got the Page of Wands. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. This is a uh, fire sign energy, um, youthful energy. Could be someone who might be younger. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They feel very ashamed and I feel like they want to apologize, but they're afraid to. Um, underneath that, you've got the Knight of Cups, the Ten of Swords, and the Star, which leaves... The Nine of Cups Wish Fulfillment. You can have it all. You deserve the best. This is celebration. You've got two wish cards here because you also have the star. This is you, Aquarius, strong in your reading. Hopes, wishes, dreams, written in the stars, destiny, fate. It's also very healing energy. It's someone who's also seen out in the public eye. Someone who um, likes astrology and the esoteric and the metaphysical. They might be um, someone who um, might be a public spiritual leader or a musician or artist of some sort. This is someone who might be famous. Or they're the star in your sky. Look how pretty she is. Gorgeous energy. Um, but you've got that with the Nine of Cups here. Your wishes are gonna are starting to come to fruition. You've worked hard at manifesting this. Um, you've been backstabbed, betrayed with this um, Ten of Swords energy. You're toast. You're as done as done can be. You gotta uh, pick yourself up from this pity party. The sun's rising in the distance. You can see the sunrise. The clouds are clearing. It's the dawn of a new day. Um, because you've got an offer of love coming in. Here's that heartfelt apology here that's coming in from someone who's been away for a while out in the cold. 
They're, they're done with the ski slopes of Colorado or Idaho or wherever they're from. <laughs> the frozen tundra of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. They want to they wanna go where it's sunny and warm. They want to be back with their, with their shining star. Their person. No more of this Knight of Wands back and forth doing the dance energy here. The only dancing you're going to be doing is at the club. <laughs> put your cups up. Put your cups up. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Lost, lost, my, lost myself there for a moment. Yeah, I've been cooped up for a week because of the weather, so you can tell I'm a bit uh, stir-crazy with cabin fever. But there is an apology coming in. There's not going to be any more of this in and out, back and forth energy. I think they're going to accept this cup of love that's being offered. I think this person's been working hard on themselves and willing now to put in the time, energy, and effort into this connection. Okay, so that's, that's promising. Let's get some... I want to get a, a clarification on the Earth card and the star. I'm glad that we have a lot of um, water and Earth in this reading with some fire. There's some passion here. Um, this relationship now is going to be solid and grounded with a lot of um, emotion and feeling, but also realistic and down to earth. No more of this bunny hop business <laughs> or hokey pokey. Put your right foot in, you put your right foot up, you put your right foot in, and you shake it off. Never. <laughs> oh my god. I swear I have not been drinking. I don't drink alcohol normally. I don't drink at home by myself. I definitely don't drink while I'm doing people's tarot readings. I'm just feeling a really light, happy energy. So, like I said, I've got cabin fever. I haven't been out of the house in a week. It's been too cold. It's not safe to go anywhere in this weather that we've been having. But it's supposed to get nicer this weekend, so I think I'll finally be able to get to the gym and get out and socialize a little bit more. Hopefully I'll have something to celebrate. Okay, so the Earth is validated with um, the Seven of Swords. I feel like um, with this Seven of Swords, there's three women buried underneath. It looks like a picket fence. Now, I just saw an article, a news article on my flipboard on my phone that there was some serial killer where they discovered bodies buried in some potted plants. I didn't read the article, so I don't know if there happened to be three women that they found or something, but um, this is really weird. Today has been very weird. I've been getting a lot of heavy um, spirit messages and paranormal stuff happening all day since I woke up today. Um, and I don't know who this message is meant for, especially if they work in law enforcement and you've got a cold case. There's a metal wrought iron picket fence and there may be three people buried like not too far under, like I would say within less than six feet. You may want to look there. Um, it looks like there's a brick, a brick structure or wall beyond the fence. I 
I don't know why that message needed to come out. Um, but anyway, this the Seven of Swords validating this Earth card, I feel like someone had, they were, they were not facing some long buried um, issues from past relationships or some baggage from past relationships. They might have been fooling themselves and not using their logic because swords has to do with the mind, logic, communication. And seven of swords, usually it's the thief in the night card. It's deception, sneakiness. But with, with the symbolism with this, these three women underneath the seven swords, I feel like someone had, they were in denial over some baggage that they were carrying from some maybe three past relationships or three past partners that left them very wounded and hurt and now they're on solid ground and healed from that. This could have been some long buried um, childhood issues. It could have been self-deceit around something. Maybe they were fooling themselves. They didn't want to see the truth about themselves. But now, they, now they're using their logic and reason to ground themselves and be strong and stable again. Let's clarify the star for you. Star is validated by the Seven of Wands. Someone's been fighting for their dreams. They've not given up on this connection. They've been protecting their dreams. I feel like Spirit's been fighting for you on, this, on the other side too because there's a lot of stars in the background of this card. Someone wasn't giving up and they're going to protect their star. They're going to protect their hope and their dream. Also, this connection was protected by spirit because it was divinely guided, destined, and fated. It might be um, possibly a, a divine soulmate, partner, twin flame, whatever terminology you like to use. But this connection was meant to be and it was being protected and, and divinely guided because it was meant to be. The fate was sealed and written in the stars and being protected. I also feel like you're going to, like you said, you're very protective of this person and of this connection. So let's get a, a message from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle for you, Aquarius. I also feel like your intuition has been spot on. You knew this person would be returning. And you, you, you made a wish that they would come back and stay this time, that they wouldn't leave again. So I, my hope and wish for you is that is that, that definitely happens. Um, you are so lovable. You've experienced so much heartache and loss and difficulty and um, you you deserve real true soul love Aquarius my beautiful aquas my daughter's an Aquarius I've got a lot of close friends who are aquas. They're just the most amazing people. Okay, so your divine oracle, Master Wisdom Oracle, is uh, change. There's going to be some changes blowing, and I feel like someone's had a change of heart and a change of mind, and they may have been afraid of change, and it caused them to run away. And now they're having a change of heart. Now they're, they're going to decide just to go with the flow and roll with the changes because the change is going to lead to growth. And that's what this is all about is growth. I also feel like owls are special to some of you. It might be your totem or spirit animal. This represents your, the wis, your inner wisdom, your higher self, your intuition. Owls are also um, omen. They can be an omen of good or um, bad coming in. 
So pay attention to owls. If you see one or hear one, pay attention to what happens within a few days to a week after seeing or hearing that owl. Okay, let's get two love messages for you, Aquarius. Okay, so your first love message is synchronicity and signs. Align to your desires. Notice signs and symbols for validation. So I believe beginning last fall, you started seeing um, signs and synchronicities. You knew that this person would be coming back. Spirit has been showing you, and this, the signs are going to start getting louder and louder and louder. Uh, I know it's been, like I said, today has been so freaking bizarre. I'm literally, like I said, when I'm done with these readings today, I am literally going to smudge the shit out of my house because um, you can't make this stuff up. I, I don't have time to go into everything that's happened to me today, but I'm on a twin flame journey too. Um, and um, like I said, I feel like right when right when the when things are about to happen, we're like ready to give up, and you can't give up yet. Do not give up yet. Something big is about to happen here. It's getting closer. I can feel it. Protection. What did I just say earlier? The universe is keeping your love connection safe. Look at this. I'm a cut of bitch. You're not gonna mess with my with my divine partner. They're mine. <laughs> Don't mess with me. <laughs> They're arguing in the locker room at the gym. <laughs> Dude didn't even have time to get his towel on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Aquarius, that is your love reading. Um, until next time, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye.